Hi, this is Jelly Bling. How are you? Today's project is all about country birdhouses. So this bundle is in the new mini catalog or the new annual catalog. And I have it right here and it goes into effect. You can order this on May 1st. So if you like this bundle in the video description, I will put all of the items number used to make this card and the card we're gonna to make today. And you can have your own birdhouse bundle. Wait till you see how cute this is. So this is done mostly with dyes. I did a little bit of coloring. And this is the new basic beige. New papers, and I'll show you those. So country birdhouses, great words, great greetings. And then the die set. So I'm gonna use most of the dies except for these here to build your own flowers. And you know, you could go crazy with having flowers all along here, flowers on top. I mean, you could really decorate it, but I'm trying to keep it a little bit simple, but I think it is just as cute as can be. And it includes this little bow. Okay. So I wanna make one similar to this, same but different. And I have stuff to show you. So this is the Country Lace. Country Lace Designer Paper. So we'll be using that for the background. Wait till you see how pretty this is. Petal pink. Dots. Ugh, that almost looks like denim. Ooh, those are nice together. That does look like denim. But beautiful papers. I was thinking about using this one, but instead went with the pattern. I don't think you could go wrong. I have two packs here. And then, of course, the ones we're using today. And then for the birdhouse, I'm using this woodsy one. And this is called Country Woods. Imagine that. And I've already used a few sheets. So I used this one on um, my Spotlight in Nature card. But look how fun these are. That would be great birdhouse. Oh, any of these would be really nice. That one would be nice too. They all would work. Okay, so using the dies, these are the pieces that we're going to use today. And if you were to look at this, you think, oh yeah, it's a birdhouse. Okay, just cut out the birdhouse. But notice how there's different colors. That means you cut it out a different color cardstock. And of course, it's nice to have dies to cut out the flowers. These are a couple of little add-on leaves and there's four of them. And of course, a die to cut out the birdhouse. And there's the birdhouse hole for him to go in, live, make a nest. And then also like the little perch. So um, the bird could be sitting on the perch, checking out the surroundings and then tuck away into the house. So to make that, I'll put these side by side. Um, there is the black for the roof. And of course you could change up colors however you like. Then there is the little fancy um, gingerbread. And then I put the white to cover the seam. Then of course there's the birdhouse. There's the base. The hole for them to go into. And the hole does cut a hole inside of it. And I thought, well, that's too tiny for the, the bird to go into. So I put it back in there to kind of cover it up. And I used the die for the bigger hole as his perch. There's four different dies for the leaves. Then you can choose, do you want it to be on a stand or do you want it to be hanging? So today let's do it on a stand. And then stamp and cut these little, to me, that looks like a tulip. This bouquet of flowers, and then the bird. So these are the pieces that are gonna be cut to make this card. Okay, so I just have a lot of pieces, and you could tell that it's, well, I would like to say it's scrap, but I did cut these to fit for the pieces we just went through. And this time I wanna do soft seafoam leaves. 
And when you cut the birdhouse, because there's going to be so much covering up the top of it, like right up here, and then we're going to cover up the bottom. If you cut your paper to three by four, which if you are frugal on paper, you know that those numbers are kind of magic. And if you cut off the ends, it's okay because we're going to decorate the top and the bottom so much that if you cut off the little tips, it's going to be just fine. Okay, so I have all the pieces ready to go. We'll get to those in just a minute. For now, the papers are eight and a half by five and a half. It's all pretty standard. And I'll put all the paper cut sizes on my blog, which is jillybling.com. Um, so eight and a half by five and a half. These are inside papers. The smoky slate is cut to three and three quarters by five. And this is just an eighth of an inch smaller. So four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. The designer paper. Mm, the designer paper is cut to four by five and a quarter. So let's let's make this thing. We will have a little bit of coloring to do. Just a little bit. Okay, so here are the pieces. See how it's different this time? This one is a little brighter, but I think that once we put the flowers and the bird on here, this one is really gonna liven up. Okay, so here we go. So let's start building and I'll start out with the roof in black. You tell I've been gluing all day long. And that just gets laid right on top of the birdhouse top. So you could see, it's cut a little crazy, but it's okay. So I'll just set that on there, get it in place. And if you need to, you could trim away the designer, like if the designer paper is showing underneath the black, you can always trim it away afterwards. So far, so good. Okay, next is this piece, but this time I'm gonna do it in basic beige. After I get the little um, gingerbread on, I'll put the white trim over the top. So it goes right underneath here. At first I tried putting the trim in there and then this gingerbread piece, and that didn't look so good. So this gets pushed right up into there. Kind of like I had to stretch the paper because this looks good and now here's a gap. Maybe it's supposed to go over the top. Okay, so there's those pieces. And then the white is going to cover, that's going to be like the trim. So I'll just put a bit of glue right here in this crack. drop it on there get it in place because the drew glide the glue dries clear so it's okay if if I'm a little messy okay so this looks good the white is right in the middle of that crack this one just because I have to keep on kind of stretching these papers there might be another way to do it and I just kind of missed it I just cut all the pieces and jumped right on in Okay, so now I see just a little bit of designer paper showing through here. And after this dries a little bit more, I'm going to take my snips and try to clean that up a little bit. Over here. I think it's looking good. But see what I mean if you cut your paper using a piece that's four by three? You won't even miss it. Right there's a little bit cut off. Let's put it on the bottom piece.
Do you know what I was just thinking? This kind of looks like a, um, <clears throat> a planner you might have. I wonder if, see, this is really hanging over. I'll have to trim it. Um, like if you put three tulips in here, like one, two, three, instead of having the flowers hang over. Well, I got these ready to go. Well, like if this one was, cause see these flowers, how they, I'll show you in here. I'm like, what are they doing? Cause see how those have a stem? So on the sample, I was just pretending like, okay, there's a stem. You put this here and it looks like the flowers are growing up and just kind of hanging over. That's how I, I visualized it. But you could do it right in the middle. Oh, that would be kind of cute. Ooh, and then maybe these could be popping up from here. Oh, but what about the bird? Mm. No, that looks kind of silly. You know, sometimes I just like to do things different. I don't know why. Shouldn't mess with a good thing if nothing's wrong with it. Okay, so this can be his little front door. See, that's looking really nice. With the, the dark colors, it's kind of kind of handsome. Maybe this is like a bachelor pad. And the circles, there's the one that comes out of here that's smaller, and then I think this is the bigger one for his perch. Yeah, this one is smaller. Okay. And perch could be right there, close to the front door. Oh, this one we're going to do the stand. I haven't tried that yet. Oh. Okay. Right in the middle. You, you stand there, little bird, and you check it out. Well, since could be on top. That kind of looks like a hat then. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to trim up, like, see that designer paper right there? I could have probably put the black a little bit lower, and then I wouldn't have to be doing this trimming. You know, hindsight is always, what do they say, 100%. So, don't do what I did. Put your black house foundation. I don't know, would you put it higher or lower? Or trim it. Trimming it is good. There, none of it shows through. Okay, let's see how it's looking. Oh, I like that. Let's see how this is going to be. Oh, that is so cute. I think it's going to be too big. Well, I know how to remedy that. Because if I have these curly things up on here, you kind of miss them. You ready for my remedy? What? Mm-hmm. Or it could be on a stand. Nah. This needs to be here in all of its glory. Okay, so how about putting the birdhouse on now? Because I know I don't want it over the top of the card. So right about there. Good distance, equal, equal. Oh, and you know, on this one I stamped the words, happy birthday, right here. I was going to do the same. I don't think it's going to work. How about, let's see how the Hello Friend fits. It's 
gonna go right there. Okay, this is a little risky. I'll test it first. Because if I mess up, I'm gonna have to improvise somehow. Well, that stamps good. Just do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, are your fingers crossed with me? Yay! Okay. So now that's there, this can be kind of tucked in. Okay, so if I put glue right about where I want it, then take this. Okay, that looks good. Okay, hang on. Now this is too long. I'll trim this. You know, I'm just gonna let this dry a bit. So in the meantime, let's color flowers. Okay, so we already went through that. Let's do some coloring. So for coloring, I have the bird, and I like the colors of this one. Balmy Blue and Smoky Slate. I kind of like the flowers too. Maybe just do the leaves in a different color because I have these as soft sea foam. Well, what is soft sea foam darker cousin? Soft sea foam, that kind of doesn't look like it belongs in there. To me, that's more of a blue, blue green. Maybe Lost Lagoon. So maybe I could do soft sea foam. That's a lot bluer. Okay, let's just see how it looks with soft sea foam leaves. But the bird for now, let's do the bird. I know how to do the bird. It'll be just like this bird. So, balmy blue. Dark. And I'm not really taking the time to color perfect because the areas are so small. I think if I took the time to blend, probably my inks would just, the marker would just ooze outside of the memento line art. And that wouldn't be good. Bird. Few layers okay and then smoky slate for the tummy smoky slate light for the parts that get a little more sunshine Okay, and then the nose and feet can be in coral dark. Okay. Good. Let's see how bird looks on there. Very cute. Okay, so now these flowers, and this one I did coral and then blue to match the bird and flirty flamingo, flirty flamingo coral. Because this is in coral, how about, well, um, this one could be, how about all coral? Flirty Flamingo, 
Uh, pretty much the same. I guess I'm not that um, that adventurous today. Well, this one, it's going to be both parts of this flower in coral. So, I have news. Evan and Michaela are having a baby. Yay! I mentioned that before. But they know that it's going to be a boy. Michaela wanted a boy so bad. I said, what if it's a girl? She goes, I'm just hoping it's a boy. I'm like, okay. Just hoping for her it's a boy. And it is a boy. They are so happy. So we're joking about names. Like our last name is Nolan. And it's N-O-L-A-N. And it's really hard to find a name that goes with it. When I was trying to name them, Emma and Evan, it's just it's hard. Because of the N. <clears throat> so we'll see what they come up with. Okay, and then for these flowers, let's just go with Flirty Flamingo. The bird can stand out being blue. Okay, so this is Flirty Dark. And then Flirty Light. In the last video, I was talking about how I learned that if you color just one area at a time, a small area like this, the blending happens automatically, which is very convenient. Because before I would go through and I would color everything needed flirty dark, I would color it flirty dark. Then I would go back with flirty light and do some blending which turned out nice, but this goes pretty good because the ink is still wet. It just naturally does all the work. Okay, and I think we decided these little ones would be flirty too. Okay, two flowers at once. Taking a gamble. Okay, let's see how. Well, you know what? This is kind of baby's breath. What if I just run over it? Pretend like it's kind of like that. Okay, so then the leaves are in soft sea foam. Soft sea foam light everywhere. And this time I really don't want it to blend. I want the stripe up the middle to be a little bit obvious. So I'm gonna let it dry. Maybe I'll try to do the three tulips on the inside at the bottom. Okay, dry. Ruh -roh. It usually means that there's a crack in the barrel. No. 
Hmm. Hmm. A few of them have been doing that lately. And if yours are doing that and they're less than three months old, you could call demonstrator support and they'll replace it for you. Well, that's really soft. Let's see how it looks on here. The bird looks good. So this is going to be, oh, that's cute. Okay, I'm going to do it just like the other. This has had enough time to dry. So to trim it, little crooked. Oh, give us the bird. Okay, so I'll stick this down the rest of the way. It's looking a little crooked. I have to get lots of decorations around there. Okay, here we go. So do you like the stand better? Or do you like it like it's hanging from a tree better? I don't know if I have a preference. I like them both. Put this right in the middle. So there's going to be a lot tucked in around it. I so much, I want to um, do things different somehow. but I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, and then the tulips. Tulips. I'm going to put glue at the bottom and a dimensional at the top. Just like that. This one comes over here, like it's hanging out of the box. Okay, then like that. Where are those other little leaves? Here they are, three of them. So let me see what size dimensionals. I think these are half and that's a whole. little bit of glue. This could tuck right into there. Isn't it looking cute? And then this, these two can have a half dimensional on them. 
half a mini dimensional. We need micro minis. We need more fingers. So one of these go right up here. The other one goes right down here. Okay. So which do you like better? I know we still have the inside to do, but they're really cute. Do you like the darker leaves or the lighter leaves? Okay, so for the inside, oh, that's nice words. So let's do that. Hello, friend. Hope you have the best day ever. See, that could be perfect for a birthday or just a hello. Put that on the inside. Hoping you have the best day ever. I like that. And this stamp set has the cutest little things with it. Like there's this, which was used right here. But I kind of like that too, and I like the wood grain too. Oh, decisions. Okay, how about if we put this underneath the words and then this at the bottom? Oh, maybe, okay, okay, I have a plan. So, this thing underneath, best day ever. Just like that, cute. And then that loopy ring thing, this thing. I'm gonna try, Try the tulips, see if I could get three in a row. So in the middle, one, two, and I'm okay if they overlap a little bit. I should have tested this, three. Okay, that's kind of cute. Now, oh, yes. Oh, that is so cute. I'll hold it up. Should let it dry a bit. Look how cute that is at the bottom. That turned out nice there too. I should put a rhinestone on each one of those. Okay, so for the flowers, how about, because I did coral and flirty, how about coral in the middle and then flirty? See, this one kind of one-ups this one, but this one has a simple thing going on. Wasn't it good to be us? We get to have so much fun. Who is, I was talking to Connie today and, um, she was saying that her husband came in. He's like, hey, you've been in there for a while. What are you doing? You having fun? And she looked at him like, uh, yeah, I always have fun in my room. And I'm like, yeah. And you know, not everyone has a hobby. I had one, um, one stamper's husband and he would always come by, see what we're doing. Nice guy, really nice guy. And he goes, you know, you girls are so lucky. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, why is that? He said, because you have a hobby. You have something you love. And I'm like, yeah, I fall asleep thinking about stamping. I wake up and thinking about stamping, excited about the next project. And it's true. And he didn't, he didn't really have a hobby. I mean, what, what would you do? Like if you retired, what would you do? I don't know. 
So I think about that often, and, and I, I appreciate having a hobby. Sometimes it makes me crazy because I don't have enough hours in the day. Crazy in a good way. Tomorrow we're moving Emma. So I'm not going to be in my room all day long. I have so much to do. I had to make thank you cards for April. I haven't made them yet. I have a plan, but I haven't made them. Okay, so what do you think? What do you think about the trio of flowers? I don't know if they're tulips. And then, soft sea foam light. dry and now soft sea foam dark I was just looking at the balmy blue the bird it's like should I somehow try to add balmy blue in here I really like the simplicity of it so I probably shouldn't You know what I could do? Okay, this one is going to be a fancy card. So I'm going to surround my flowers with balmy blue light. Then I'm going to take the color lifter and kind of soften it. I think this explains why I can't do anything simple. I should have just left it alone, huh? But it's going to look good. Notice how bright it makes the flowers. There's motorcycles out there. Okay. So you're like, well, maybe color lifter. Color lifter to soften the edges. Make it look like they're a glow. Gonna give it just a minute to kind of soak in and then I'll check it. See if I need to do some more color liftering. Now hold it up and you all tell me if you think, oh, it was worth it or that's too much. Okay. <laughs> I think I kind of like it. Isn't that cool? <sighs> yeah. I need to pull out my stamp and seal. My little glue press is too convenient. So a few of you have been asking, what is that glue gun thing? So it's from My Sweet Petunia. I'll hold it up here and it has the logo on it. And it's called a glue press. And when you get it, it comes with this bottle full of Nouveau glue. 
and then it comes with a second bottle so you could use it for whatever your favorite glue is i know i have my favorite but the nouveau glue is just fine too look at that okay what do you think okay my sweet petunia and this lid has a lid holder and in here there's a pin right there so if you need to take it on the road put that on now you're ready to travel but if you stay home see that red right in there the tip goes on there so you don't have to cover up your um your glue since i've had this i haven't covered it up only to play with the blinged top and the bling top goes right on here and this thing comes out so if you want you can refill this but I'll show you how this thing works okay So that pushes on the glue bottle, which is much easier. I don't have a problem, but I know a lot of people, they do. For a while, mine was squeaking. I've only had it for a few weeks, but every time I, I was squeezing it, it was going, so I put um, my candle. I rubbed the candle all over on the glue bottle. It's not squeaking anymore. Does it work better? I don't know. I think it fits in there further. There it goes. So the nozzle and the twisty top is all the way in place. And that's flush. There it is. And I toss it all the time. Probably shouldn't do that, but it works. I'm looking at the pin down in here. Anyhow, new toy. And I, I held off for like a year thinking, oh, nah. But I'm I haven't I haven't touched my old glue bottle since then. Okay, back on task. Two cards full of cuteness. Adorable bundle. See now I need to do the blue around there. <gasps> well, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you haven't already hit the like button and the subscribe button youtube watches that and they tell me if i'm being a good girl or not so if you can it's appreciated and i hope you have a great day thanks for watching